hello my beautiful people welcome back to my channel in case you are new on this channel my name is debbie i am a fashion lover and i also share sewing tutorials and tips on this channel and in this video today i will be teaching you how to transform your basic pattern to a bustier and um, you can also create a yoke from this same pattern and if this sounds like something you're interested in then let's jump right into it so um i have already cut it out so this is my front this is my back okay so then i'll locate the midpoint of my shoulder so just place your tape here place it like this then i think i have five point um one two five here so from there locate it and fold your tape like this okay i hope you can see then you you locate the midpoint like this so after locating the midpoint you take your ruler and place it on the mark just mark it with your marker or your pencil or whatever you're using then place it like this this is my bust point this is my bust point okay so just place it like this and draw a line a straight line from your mid point of the shoulder to this point which is the nipple point that is the first step okay i want to create a style that has a yoke okay so from here to here is going to be my yoke why from here to here is the main bodies okay so after you must have done this locates the chest line my chest line i mean my ham or depth here i use them nine inches so that means from the shoulder line to my chest line is nine inches okay so i'm going to be coming down from that my shoulder point down okay to seven inches you can do six inches you can do 6.5 okay but i prefer for me i prefer to do seven inches so what i will simply do now that had already cut my shoulder my guideline you know out of it so i'm going to place my tape here because i know the value here this is nine inches my hammer depth is nine inches of course my chest line from the shoulder is nine inches so i will just go here i'll just place my tape here and go up to the seven inch mark okay this is seven inch mark so that means from your shoulder line up from your shoulder line down is seven inches all right so this is what i have so now this is what i have this is my seven inch mark so i'm going to place my ruler and draw a line and draw a line this also depends on the style you want to do okay the style you want to create it depends on it okay some styles may not have the need but most styles have the need of this okay so now i'm done with this now the, the next thing the bustier effect thing is to ensure that your bust protrude you know you, you are able to get that fitting that you, that you desire so the next thing i'm going to be doing right now is to um insert my under bust measurements Okay, my underbust measurement is very important to achieve a bustier effect. So from this point, let me place my tape on the 9-inch mark, which is my chest line. So my, my, my bust line, my shoulder to bust is 11.5 inches. Okay, so and um, from my bust line down to my underbust is just 4 inches. So that means from 11.5, I have 15 Point five here okay from my shoulder so this is what i have just locate it and draw a line in most basic bodies pattern you don't find on the bust on the bust line okay on it it is when you are about to create a bustier effect that you need this 
or probably you want your bust to produce protrude very well and have this you know lovely fitting that is when you need the under bust so this is the under bust okay so now under bust measurement is also very important my under bust measurement is 37 okay or probably I can use 36. 36 divided by 4. So you divide your underboss measurement by 4 inches, just the way you divide other round uh, measurements. Okay. So my underboss is 9 inches, or probably I can use 9.25 if, if it's 37 inches. So let me just use 9.25, or let me use 9 inches. So from here, I'll place my 9 inches. From the center front, this is my 9 inches. Alright, can you see it now? This is 9 inches. This is my center front. To the side is 9 inches. Just mark. Okay? With a tiny mark. Then measure the remaining measurements that you have. Okay? I have, the, by the time I measure from this mark, okay? From this mark, by the time I measure it, from this mark, I will measure from here to the end. I have 1.25 here. So I have 1.25 to be able to achieve my bust effect. All right. So now I wouldn't mind this that already. Okay. So by the time you finish and you add your sewing allowance, it will be fine. All right. So I have 1.25. So 1.25 minus half. That half is going to be towards the center front because the effect actually comes at the side, okay, on the side front. So the center front, you will measure from this dark leg, this dark leg here, you will measure from it, you measure half inch. So sorry, I'm not using this metal plate here. So I'll start my half inch from here, 0.5 inch. Okay, so I'll just place my, I'll just measure from this dark leg outwards, towards the center front, 0 0.5 inch. So, and the remaining, you know, the measurement is 1.25. I mean, what I got from here to here is 1.25. So, I've already taken 0 0.5 inch from it, which is here. So, the remaining, so I'm going to place my 0 0.5 inch on this that leg here i hope you can see clearly so then i will now measure okay i will measure the remaining so i have um 0 0.75 0 0.75 so by the time you measure sorry i don't know if you can see clearly from this point center front so this side is 0 0.5 out of 1.25 then you measure the remaining here from here to here which is 0 0.75 please don't measure from inside the darts okay inside this triangle you don't need that the measurement we actually need is from here the first dark leg here towards the center then the last dark leg towards the side front okay so now i have my 1.25 already measured on this bust line so what i would do now is to consider from here to here is one inch okay so i'm going to place my curve the curve part of my ruler okay i'm going to place it like this i hope you can see i'm going to place it like this because i don't have a curve or let me see if i can get the curve directly or maybe i can use my hand I don't know yet. Okay, let me try it. Or probably let me use my hand. Okay, let me use a free hand so that you guys can see in case of people who do not have a curve ruler or whatever. Okay, to use. So you can actually use your free hand. So just look at the way I will curve it. So from here, considering this point, this one inch from here to here is one inch. So like this. Okay. The curve should be like this. Okay. I hope you can see clearly. Okay. So now from here to here, 
I don't really need a too curvy line here. So because so just a very slight curve on this part. But the curve here can actually be deep. Okay. So had it been my measurement is like two inches, of course. My mark would have been here. This point would have been here. So it would have been more curvy. I mean curvier <laughs> than this. Okay, but you can actually achieve it just like this. So because this is my measurement and um, I have a bust of 45 inches. So I would prefer, I would prefer to, you know, open up to create a bust um, opening on this line. Anyway, by the time we are doing that, I would explain how you would achieve it. Okay, so now we already have it. So from here to here, we'll connect it back to the dark leg on the waistline. I hope you can, you know, see what I'm doing and even understand what I'm doing. So just connect these points from the underboss back to the waistline. From here back to the waistline as well okay so this is what I have okay so from here to here from here to here beautiful I hope you can see it very nice okay so the next thing for us to do is to actually um, create another probably to you know if you don't want a total neck you don't want your neckline to be too you know small like this of course this three by three inches will be small for me so i like to go inward by 1.5 inches or two inches then come down by one inch so in total here will be like five inches or 4.5 inches the depth will be like four inches so let's do this so from here to here i have like um one and a half inches add this to the three inches width then from here down okay i have one inch so i'm going to be connecting to achieve another neckline okay so this is what i have next thing is for me to come to this point this seven inch mark and get remove a dart of one inch from it actually depend on the style that you are making but this is the basic okay at least when you have an idea of this then you should be able to create some lovely designs and you know very soon i'll be uploading videos of how to create different necklines so just come to this line this point okay this intersection point and then take half an inch on both sides half an inch so just place it half an inch here half an inch here okay and connect so please consider from this point to this point is one inch so don't bring your your line down to this point directly okay so you can take like half an inch up so let's just measure like half an inch up or probably one inch up or 0 0.75 i just don't want it to be to have a pointed look so it's it's better to so like i said this part does not need too curvy line so you can actually do a straight line here straight line okay then you curve this part you curve this part like this can you see i hope you can see what i'm doing so i think eh, this one will even work so yeah so just this curvy parts just try to redraw this line here okay so this is what i have so with this you are good to go okay so now from here i'm going to be you know this is going to be a yoke 
this is my yoke and this place is going to be on fold okay on four this is the center front so this is my yoke okay so and of course this is my chest from here you can actually come down from this seven inch mark by probably one inch it depends on what you want to achieve anyway so you can have a sweetheart neckline not on the major neckline here but here so the yoke will have a, a kind of sweetheart you know look when it's being joined to the bodies the main the down parts so you can actually do this side like this so you measure like one inch here or probably 1.5 let me go with one inch so just like this just like this okay that is all you have simple as that simple as that so what the, the this is just what you need okay this is all we need and you can as well do this you can you know when you are this is one inch so of, of course you would have taken you would add it back to it but some do not some do not but i would prefer to have this one inch that i will cut out i will add it back to this and connect it back to the neckline okay so um I, we are good to go like this this is the center front this is the side front this is the yoke okay so this yoke will be off then this will come like this so i think we are good to go all right so just watch me as i cut this thing out okay so I'm going to be starting from here. So just watch me as I cut. So this is, okay, let me cut this neckline first. So this is the yoke. So let me cut out the yoke. You can use a different fabric for the yoke okay to bring out the the design properly you know the effects properly so just do it like this so this is the yoke can you see how beautiful the yoke looks so this is going to be unfold unfold can you see the sweetheart very nice so this is the yoke you can actually use a tool net to um you know for this yoke or probably a lace without any lining you know you can also leave it like this it depends so just use a different material so that the design can actually come out and look nice okay so i'm going to be cutting this out we have so can you see this is the center front while this is the side front okay like i said you can so this is what i have so i i actually um cut out a piece of paper another paper and joined to this part so that I can add the one inch to this part okay the one inch that I deducted that I cut off okay from here so I want to add it back to it so the one inch is you just do it like this from here to here is like one inch okay so this is what I have then I'm going to join it back To this part okay of course there is still little um, allowance that i removed from here while i was cutting so by the time i not under normal circumstances i add two inches to my bustier patterns okay on the fabric before cutting it out so and the two inches will make up 
for this worm here okay so this is what i have so this is the one inch that i cut off some don't do this because it also gives a, you know a good fitting you know but it depends because i'm a plus size and my boss is 45 and i want something that is very you know comfortable on my body i don't want I don't want too tight fitting things, okay? But you can actually leave it this way. You may not even bother to remove it, okay? But I want to assure you that the two inches will also, you know, help and make up for it. I prefer it because I want my, you know, out, out, uh, outfits or clothes or whatever that I put on to be comfortable on me, okay? So usually I do this most times when I'm drafting patterns for my bustier. Okay, so this is what I have. So this is what I have. Okay, so now the next thing for me to do is to cut bust that okay is to cut it off instead of cutting it off i'm going to cut it this way just watch what i do i'll cut from here from the down part here up to this point okay so instead of removing it completely i'm going to bring it down just move it down okay so under normal circumstance, hmm, because I'm a, I'm a plus size, that's why I prefer to come in by one inch and maintain it even on my bustier pattern. All right. So, but if you are not, you know, busty, probably your bust is like 32 inches, 33 inches, and probably 34. You may start your bust that from the bust point. So while um, drafting a bustier pattern, just make sure you leave your bust that like this. Let it start from this point, from the bust point, okay? But because I need to create room for my bust, I have bust, I have a big bust, and my bust is 45. So from probably 37 or 38 inches round bust measurement upward, you can do this. So it's, the idea is to create room, okay? for the boss to sit comfortably okay it is very important i do this because it works a lot for me so what i would do is just to slash this point inward to the mark yeah to my new bust point so i will slash it and then um, by slashing i will be able to bring this down yeah so can you see what i'm doing so if you don't slash it it won't lay well at all so now that i've slashed i'm going to be bringing it down and closing it up closing it up so can you see what i'm doing now so can you see that this is off so but now that this is off of course this one will be open can you see the opening but there's no problem anyway the, the the most important thing is for us to do this okay so the next thing we have to do is just to place a small paper and put it under it like this okay put it under it and use cello tape or paint to hold it firm okay so this paper will actually cover it and by the time you are you place it on your fabric, you just cut it off. Do you understand? So this is how it is. So assuming I have already placed a tape on it, of course it will be flatter than this. So I will just do this, ram it up like this, smoothen it and cut it off. Can you see what I just did here? Can you see? So, mere looking at it, of course, you will know that 
there is an opening because it's been covered up so this is what i have for the front so this is the side front side front this is the center front and this is the yoke can you see how beautiful the pattern is looking the pattern is looking so beautiful this is what i have as the yoke can you see it now so now we we'll move to the back the back is so easy most times you don't even do anything on the back you don't even need anything at all on the back okay so you can also start your yoke since you, your yoke is seven inches here from here so just do it here so from here to here measure seven inches and rule really a line and let your yoke start from there okay so your yoke can start anywhere your yoke can even start here so there are some designs that the yoke will be like this and the back yoke will start from the chest line okay the back yoke can even start from somewhere here the chest line you just move it move it move it move it move it move it okay and cut this off as the yoke why this is the main the down part of it so um i'm just going to do the same thing i did here okay so i'll be coming down by seven inches so i'll place my my tape on the nine inch mark which is the chest line up to seven inches up to seven inches so then i'm going to be bringing the two points together to make a straight line so this is what i have is the seven inch mark so it's not a problem so this is the yoke for the back okay so because i came in by 1.5 inch extra okay as my neck as my neck width here so 1.5 plus 3 inches that was already you know been drafted before is like four and a half so i'm going to do the same here too so i'm going to do the same thing here so I'll come in here by 1.5 inches so 1.5 inches so and then i can also come in by mm, maybe two inches more or one inch more or three inches it depends on you anyway it depends on what you want so then just draw the curve here the new neckline okay so that's what we have so this is the yoke this is the it doesn't this back does not even have any issue at all it's a very simple thing to achieve so the front part is the most important for me <laughs> so you can actually play with the back very free flat you know play with the back anyhow you want it so this is all i have so let me just um cut the yoke off So this is my yoke, this is the back yoke, back, center back, my CD, okay, back, C, B, center back, so this is the back. This is the front. So this is center front here too. So can you see? 
very lovely very lovely okay so when you're making this just ensure that for this center front is on fold of course add your sewing allowance half an inch and please make your notch the underbust is very important the underbust must match okay and the top here must also come together and match so by the time you are closing it up consider the top part and most especially the under bust okay Be because of the effect we have here this might not rhyme with the bust point but it doesn't really matter just ensure that you maneuver your way to be able to achieve this and uh, starting from the under bust okay so ensure you add your sewing allowance on this part this is on fold already half an inch here half an inch here okay half an inch here all right then two inches here so two inches here so if there's any thing that we have cut off that two inches is more than enough to make up for all those cut offs okay and then it will also have you also have little some seam allowances left okay so for the yoke you will add half an inch here as well okay half an inch here half an inch all round so i think we are good to go here so the back also must have 0 0.5 inch as the sewing allowance then the center back you can add one inch for your zip allowance okay 0 0.5 here at the armhole point then the shoulder all round 0 0.5 inch this 0 0.5 inch as well two inches by the side one inch by um at the center back to you know make up for the zip allowance so 0 0.5 inch as well so if you're adding a skirt okay or you probably a trouser to make a jumpsuit of course 0 0.5 is okay to join to the skirt or your trouser okay so i think we are good to go thank you so much for watching 